Uh-oh. Yep, your boy just got hooked up with the brand new 14-inch MacBook Pro with the new M1 Max chip in it, 64 gigabytes of RAM, and four terabytes of storage. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing and uh, let's do a review on it. Bolo! All right, before we get started, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and please turn on those post notifications so you will know the next time I have another video available. And at the end of this video, if you like this type of content, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you do not like it, go ahead and hit that thumbs down. It helps out my channel either way. And as you guys already know, I really don't care. So yeah, shout out to everybody over at Apple. They did send over the brand new MacBook Pro and I am super excited. A lot of you guys are probably gonna ask, why did you not get the 16 inch? Because I didn't wanna get the 16 inch. I want the 14 inch because I wanted something a little bit smaller that would be better for me when I travel. And I'm actually super excited to see how this thing performs in Logic Pro. Because some of you guys think that uh, I kind of gave up on Logic, but show didn't so yeah all the other guys are doing all these tests and showing the specs and all that stuff like that i'm just going to unbox this thing and i'm going to open up logic pro the new logic pro update and i'm going to put this thing through a test and we're going to see if this thing is as good as advertised let's get to it all right so i got a new macbook right here let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what it looks like let's take off the top here and okay, nice little packaging. Is that whatever? Okay, this is the Mac. Mm. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Man, wow. This thing looks good. Let's see what else comes here. Let's put that to the side right now and let's see what it comes in here. Comes with, of course, the MagSafe cable. I like this. It comes with the old school cable. It is a uh, USB-C to MagSafe. And see what else comes with? Comes with the big boy block. I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and take that out. Man. All right, as you guys can see, comes with the, uh, the big boy block right here, as I call it. Cool. But this thing right here is so cool. This is cool. Look at it, let's put that right there. Look at that. Wow. The actual size of this is perfect for somebody who is doing music production work. It is literally perfect for this. It is small, it is sleek, like, Look how thin it is. Now, another thing that I do like about this computer is not that it comes with the MagSafe, it comes with the USB-C ports on one side and it comes with the brand new headphone jack, which we're gonna talk about that a little later on because this headphone jack is incredible and the sound out of it, from what I hear, is incredible. And if we flip over to the other side, we have a full HDMI port, another USB-C port, and we have a SD card slot. So we do have that back. And also, as you can see, it has the engraving on the back, the new MacBook Pro engraving. So I'm pretty sure that you can go ahead and put your own thing on the back is here as well. Hope you guys can see that, but that is, that's dope. Oh, we just opened this bad boy up and man, it is ready to go. Look at that, man. The keys feel good. They actually, they actually feel really good. The keys actually feel really good. And of course, you know, when you first start everything up, it's going to ask for like all the information or whatever like that. But this is dope. To use English as the main language, press the return key. Yeah, it's English. Yeah. So yeah, let's go ahead and set this thing up real quick. I'm going to go ahead and install all my stuff on here. And uh, let's see how Logic Pro is going to work on the new Mac. All right, so I'm in my kitchen. I'm over here downloading the software that I'm gonna be using inside of Logic. It's taking a long time. I'm over here downloading the Arteria collection right now, and there's a lot, and I've been here downloading this for a pretty good time. Um, one thing I have noticed is that the battery has not moved. The fan has not came on at all, and all this stuff is running smoothly. Like, I'm 
downloading the arterial stuff. I download the cork stuff, no problems. Um, that's updating. All this stuff is updating and the battery has not moved and the fan has not kicked on. Another thing that I noticed about this laptop is this thing is light, super light. As you guys know, I use the 15-inch 2012 and that thing feels like a tank compared to this. This thing is very light. So I love just the whole portability of this thing already. Now, with that being said, there's some things that I'm intrigued about. One thing that I'm intrigued about is the actual speaker system. They say they upgraded the speaker system in here. I can't wait to check that out. Also, they actually upgraded the headphone jack. And as you can see, I have my DT990s, the Bear Dynamics, and you know these are 250 ohms. And these things don't work good on all laptops. But on this computer, they say that it matches your ohm rating to your headphones. So those are supposed to have more power in them and they're going to sound better. Can't wait to check that out. Last thing is I hear that the microphone, the internal microphone in here is phenomenal. Says it can rival some very expensive microphones. So I'm definitely gonna check all that out. Of course, they have a full HD camera on here. So when I wanna do like live streams and stuff like that, I have a 1080p camera on here. That's cool, but you guys know I'm more of a music guy. So I can use this for my live streams, but I'm really concerned about using this inside of Logic Pro and seeing how this thing works. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and download everything on here. It's gonna take me a little while because I have a lot of software instruments and you know stuff like that to download. And I will see you guys on Logic and do some tests on Logic to see how this thing works. So see you soon. All right, so we are now in Logic 10.7, the newest update. And one thing I do wanna point out, I am not using my camera. I'm not using no other external microphones. I am using everything inside of the Mac. So I'm using the internal mic on here and I'm actually using the headphone out, which I have the Bear Dynamic 990s on here. And you know, these are 250 ohms. This computer definitely has enough power to power these headphones. They sound great. And the mic actually sounds very good. I'm actually sitting about a little more than a foot away from the computer. And as you guys can hear, this mic is very good. And the speaker system on here is great. The bottom end on here is great. Everything sounds great. But today we're just going to be using the Bear Dynamics because I don't want, you know, all the audio spilling over. But right now I have a very huge session. I actually have 30 tracks of Analog Lab. And if you guys know about Arteria and Analog Lab, it is a very greedy plugin. It will use up a lot of power. As you can see, I have it pulled up on 30 tracks and I am using basically two cents inside of the plug-in together. So it's a lot of power being used. Now, this machine is not plugged in. I have it running strictly off the battery and I wanna show you guys the performance of this. So I have 30 tracks of this, as you can see, and they're gonna be playing simultaneously. I have them turned down because it's gonna be way too loud if I turn it up. And plus the track I made is trash with it. But I want you guys to see the CPU performance. So let's go ahead and um, open this CPU meter right here. So you guys can see what's going on and let's go ahead and play these tracks and show you guys how powerful this machine is. So let's go ahead and press play. And look at that. Look at that. 30 tracks and is a little bit above 50%. Analog Lab, 30 tracks, a little bit above 50%. This is amazing. On my old laptop, like two tracks of just the Analog Lab it would have been done, finito. But this right here is crazy. So not to mention that you have all of those analog tracks going on and I have OBS running at the same time. Just using power, nothing's plugged up in here. It is just using the battery power. Now let's go ahead and put this under a little bit more stress. And as you can see, let's go into the mixer. I have compressor, EQ, chorus, uh, and I have a reverb and I'm going to throw on another very heavy plugin, which is the amp. And let's just see how this thing runs with all of that on. So let's go ahead and turn all of these on and see what happens. So let's turn these on. And this is what OBS run in the background. I run it to run Camtasia with it, but for some reason Camtasia doesn't have the 
audio capture card doesn't work on the M1. If you guys do know a workaround with that, please let me know because I, I really like Camtasia. I like the look of it and I like just the feel of it. But we have to go with uh, OBS for right now. So let's go ahead and press play with this and let's look at the meters. Wow. Wow. And this is with OBS running. This is crazy. This is with OBS running and this thing is amazing. And I'm and I can scroll through, no problems, nothing's going on. It turns things up, you know what I'm saying? No problems, everything is good, no problems with that. And I can even go through the plugins, change the dials, everything is good. Computer has not crashed. I can go through the compressor, change the threshold, I can do that. Everything is moving smoothly, no problems. And I have all this stuff running at the same time. This is incredible. All right, my pros. Number one, this machine is powerful. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Number two, I love the portability. I love that I don't have to really bring anything with me anymore. I can just really just bring my headphones. If I'm in a hotel room and I have an idea or anything like that, I can literally use the microphone that I'm using right now. As you guys can hear, this microphone sounds great. You can do great demos. You can record a whole album with this microphone. I cannot believe how good this microphone actually sounds. Sounds great. Another thing is, it's basically a all-in-one computer. As you guys can see, I'm using the webcam right now and it shows up great. So I don't really need to bring anything with me if I'm doing live webcams, anything on YouTube. I don't have to do none of that. The headphone jack, they updated that. It sounds a lot better and it works with even headphones that have higher ohms in it and it still delivers the power to those headphones. I love that. The keyboard, I love as well. Everything is just great. How thin the laptop is, I just love the whole form factor of this whole laptop. Even the screen real estate is great. It does not feel like I'm on a 14 inch laptop because how the screen and how they actually shorten up the bezels to make the screen wider and it's just, it's just a very great machine. Now, the drawbacks of this machine, of course, compatibility issues. That's the only thing I can think of is compatibility issues. And maybe after using it for a few days, the build quality, you definitely might need to put this in some type of a sleeve or something. The build of it is okay. It seems like it's gonna hold up over the test of time. You might get some scuff marks and stuff like that, but it's not necessarily built like a tank. I think you're really gonna have to take care of this machine, but if you're careful with it, I think everything should be fine. You know, Apple over the years has always made some solid products, but yeah, that's one thing that's kinda, uh, I really don't know. But other than that, it's really the compatibility issues because a lot of the programs I use, I'm not able to use yet, but it could be a user thing. But a lot of the places are saying that they're not compatible with the M1 chips yet. So that's pretty much the only thing that is like really a negative with this machine. Now, will I go ahead and buy the full specs of this? Probably not. I don't think I need 64 gigabytes of RAM and I definitely do not need four terabytes of storage space. Um, I would probably do maybe 16 to 32 gigs, probably 32 gigs to kind of keep me um, future proof for a while. And I'll probably just do maybe two terabytes of memory because I don't really store that much stuff like that. I have hard drives or whatever. I would definitely get this machine and probably get those specs. And to be honest, I would most likely get the M1 Max chip to go with it seeing that how good this is so you guys this is a great machine do not think that getting the 14 inch is going to put you at a disadvantage to the 16 inch no way i'm telling you if you want to get something that you can travel with an all-in-one computer to where you can go and do whatever you need to do without bringing so much stuff with you 
get this 14 inch or if you feel like getting a 16 inch get that as well but this 14 inch packs a powerful punch so i hope you guys enjoyed this whole review that i made hope you guys learned something from it if you think this computer is right for you go ahead and get it you will not be disappointed so like i always say peace out